failure to yield, which simply means he just didn't stop when police tried to pull him over. And again, this started all the way out in Ventura County. Uh, basically, uh, Channel Islands Boulevard was uh, what our uh, tipster pup, uh, uh, pup scan LA heard, and he was the first one to let me know about this pursuit. And uh, it was coming so fast down the 101, we were able to quickly pick it up here uh, near Calabasas, and it's still a fast-moving chase, anywhere from 80 to 100 miles an hour, as he comes up to the transition with the 405 freeway here. So this is uh, going to be a chance for him to switch freeways and I think he's going to go uh, southbound 405 uh, but I'll be able to confirm as soon as he completes the transition to see what way he's going. Yeah, it really looks like he's starting to have stability issues. It's the tire that's closest to us. I, I can tell that it's no longer there. He's basically down uh, to the rim. And again, that is as a result of a spike strip that deputies were able to deploy uh, before he got into L.A. County. And uh, I thought it'd be over at that point with one bad tire, but he'd still been able to go at fast speeds here, now southbound on the 405. It was coming at about 100 miles an hour southbound on the 101 freeway. At the time, we were on the closure on the 110 uh, near the 10 freeway for some Caltrans work. And uh, we still had plenty of time to make it to the chase because uh, he was driving so quickly coming our way, 100 miles an hour plus coming uh, towards Los Angeles. Now, again, this is uh, believed to be a cold-plated vehicle, which means that the plates on the car don't match the type of car the police are looking at. I believe they're looking at a Hyundai, and uh, from what I hear, the plates come back to a Dodge. And so, of course, that doesn't add up. And in all likelihood, uh, what happened is the person stole the car, they stole the plates, and threw them on, thinking that if the plates didn't come back as stolen, then uh, police wouldn't know that the car was stolen. But police still check to make sure that the plates match the type of vehicle that they're looking at. And in this case, they don't. So, co-plated vehicle, reckless driving, failure to yield, southbound 405 freeway coming up to Getty Center Drive. And real quickly, I'm just going to say a few words for our sister station, Telemundo, before resuming our coverage in English. Buenas noches desde el helicóptero. Yo soy Eliana Moreno, reportando sobre una persecución policial que se encuentra en el área de... Bel Air en la autopista 405 en dirección sur. Oh, the vice presidential state park. Are you able to just shoot down to the 10? Okay. So pardon me, guys. What's going on here is uh, we...
Okay. Okay. Back with you guys here. We're a touch closer to it now. We're free of the uh, vice presidential TFR there that we had in the, the West LA area, but now we have LAX to deal with. So uh, we're still not gonna be in our ideal position, but what my pilot George is gonna do is he's gonna go over LAX at about 2,500 feet to get us over the airport, and then hopefully we'll be able to pick up the pursuit on the other side. So have and TFRs to deal with some airspace issues, but uh, here's the pursuit continuing southbound here on the 405 freeway. Uh, very close to the Culver City area. We've already passed the 90, so we're already south of the 90 and headed towards LAX. Uh-huh. Oh. Sparks flying. Sparks are flying. Okay, thank you. Till the... Uh, that TFR boxes. Okay. So yeah, stay where, I guess, where you can safely stay. And if he makes it to the 105, then we'll go around. Uh-huh. Okay. So there you go, guys. Sparks are flying because, again, he lost that tire a while ago. I'm surprised we didn't see sparks before this. But continuing southbound on the 405 freeway at Slauson, I don't think he's going to be able to go much longer. And we're trying to do the best we can to keep tabs on it, but we're dealing with uh, Vice Presidential TFR issues as well as LAX, so we kind of have to shoot it from a distance here. Uh, Vice President uh, Harris is coming into town, and so there is a TFR over LAX for her for that and there's also one in the Brentwood area which is why we uh, had a scoot away earlier so uh, pardon the uh, shot here it's a little bit further than what we'd like but you can see a CHP unit is pulling up right to the vehicle they're telling him to back off so they don't want him to pit they're just telling him to back off give him some room this is probably going to come to an end here very soon here in the Westchester area exiting right now and this will probably bring things to an end because I think they're going to try to put him right now it'd be a perfect spot to do it usually turns turns are a great spot to do it they're saying prepare for a foot bail so they think this guy's gonna yeah so he's just behind that building there we're doing the best we can, but because of LAX airspace uh, restrictions, we're not allowed over there. But I'll just uh, tell you what I'm hearing on the scanner. I still see the police lights there at the bottom of the off-ramp. Very close to the airport. And right off the 405 at Howard Hughes. Looks like they're trying to go into a parking structure. And officers are making contact with him now, is what we're hearing. So I'm hearing a clothing description. So once I start hearing clothing descriptions, that usually means that he's on foot. Uh, so it sounds like it's a foot bail. They're making contact with him now. They are only talking about one person, so it doesn't sound like it's multiple individuals in this vehicle. But we're just off of Howard Hughes and the 405 freeway. The airship says that they're under a tree right now, so he can't really see. But you can kind of see his night sun over there. Sounds like they have the driver in custody waiting to make sure that there's nobody else. And I think that's it. Their, their tone of voice is uh, calming down. It doesn't seem like they're in active uh, uh, foot pursuit anymore. So it sounds like the driver was uh, the sole occupant of that vehicle. From what we're hearing, he's in custody. 